Have you ever had a good night's sleep, but still felt tired the next day? You're not alone! Welcome back to Better Health Guide. In this video, we'll be discussing why people feel tired even after a lot of sleep, and how you can fix this problem. Let's start with the basics. How much sleep do you actually need? According to the National Sleep Foundation, most adults need between 7, 9 hours of sleep per night. However, the quality of your sleep is just as important as the quantity. If you have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, you may not be getting the restful sleep you need. This can lead to feelings of fatigue, even if you've slept for the recommended amount of time. To improve the quality of your sleep, try to establish a consistent bedtime routine. This can include activities like taking a warm bath or shower, reading a book, or listening to calming music. This helps your circadian rhythm, which is your internal body clock, and lets your body know when it needs to carry out certain tasks, such as hormone production. Additionally, try to keep your bedroom dark, quiet, and cool to promote better sleep. Another common reason for feeling tired after a good night's sleep is using electronic devices before bedtime. The blue light emitted from these devices can disrupt your sleep cycle, making it harder to fall asleep and stay asleep. To avoid this, put away your electronic devices at least 30 minutes before bedtime and opt for a book instead, no matter how boring that may seem to you now. If you must use your phone or computer, try using a blue light filter or wearing blue light blocking glasses. Caffeine is another culprit. While it can help you stay alert during the day, consuming caffeine late in the day or before bedtime can interfere with your sleep cycle, leading to feelings of fatigue the next day. It also damages your teeth and increases anxiety in certain individuals, so it's a lose-lose situation. To avoid this, limit your caffeine consumption, especially in the afternoon and evening. If you need a pick-me-up, try drinking water or herbal tea instead. On the flip side, getting regular exercise can actually improve the quality of your sleep. Aim to get at least 30 minutes of moderate exercise most days of the week. This can include activities like walking, biking, swimming, or yoga. However, avoid exercising too close to bedtime, as this can actually make it harder to fall asleep as it increases your body temperature. Time for today's video's fun fact. Did you know that roughly 12% of people dream in black and white? And this may seem surprising, but before the introduction of color television, this was closer to 75%. But finally, managing stress is key to getting a good night's sleep. Practices like meditation and deep breathing can help you relax before bed and improve the quality of your sleep. One of my favorite quotes is, This too shall pass, so don't worry, be happy. Additionally, try to avoid stressful activities before bedtime, such as work or intense conversations. Instead, try to do something relaxing, like reading or taking a warm bath. So, to recap, if you're still feeling tired even after sleeping an adequate amount, consider improving the quality of your sleep by establishing a bedtime routine, avoiding electronic devices before bedtime, limiting caffeine consumption, getting regular exercise, and managing stress. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more health tips and sweet dreams.